What's going on guys? So today I wanted to make a quick video on L-carnitine. So I'm sure many of you have heard of L-carnitine. It's probably one of the most popular fat loss supplements on the market and just about every supplement company sells some type of carnitine product, whether they sell it just as a standalone by itself or put in a pre-workout. A lot of companies put it in fat burning products and I've even seen quite a few companies include it into random products and then they'll market it as like Oh, you know, you'd be able to burn fat and do this and that at the same time. But uh, I wouldn't buy into that. <clears throat> now, L-carnitine is an amino acid that's found naturally in your body. And it plays basically an irreplaceable role in fat metabolism. So, it acts as a transporter that brings fatty acids into your mitochondria of all your cells. To where it can be um, used to create energy. Now... It's actually like a limiting factor in the energy production process as far as fat goes because if you don't have uh, enough L-carnitine, your body's not going to be able to bring fats into the mitochondria of your cells to create energy. Now, given this knowledge, the theory behind L-carnitine is basically that if you take L-carnitine, your body's going to burn more, or use more fats to make energy, ultimately leading for fat loss. Now. That seems like a pretty logical theory, right? It makes sense. But when you look at the research, it really doesn't, it really hasn't demonstrated that. I mean, the research really sucks. The only really legit studies that have shown fat loss were in really old populations. One of them was people who were over 100 years old. And, you know, it produced, uh, they, there was like two or three studies in old people, and they, they did produce some pretty decent results. But as far as the research for more normal, like average populations, it's really just not there. There's not any conclusive evidence showing that carnitine is effective for fat loss. So that being said, um, I really don't think it's worth it. I think it's a waste of money, honestly. There is, however, another form of carnitine called um, glycine propionol L-carnitine. It's um, if you just look up GPLC and then type in carnitine, it'll come up. But there's actually um, been, there's a quite a few studies showing its benefits for exercise performance and not necessarily fat loss, but it would actually be a really, really good ingredient in a pre-workout. So L-carnitine, I wouldn't waste money on it, but GPLC, the other form of carnitine, um, definitely would be beneficial. I'll probably do a video on that, um, going over some of the research in the future. But that's all I have to say about L-carnitine. Uh, and hopefully, if you guys have watched any of my videos, and hopefully you know that, um, you know, my main takeaway is that you should do your own research. And just because something is popular doesn't mean that it's effective. Um, that's basically just the dogmatic thinking that is big reason why the supplement industry is so um, so effective. That's why so many companies are making so much money because. You know, if a lot of people are using this product and they say that it's so good and that it works, you know, other people think, oh, well, if they're taking it and if it's popular, then it must work. But as you guys now know, that isn't the case because L-carnitine is extremely popular, yet none of the research shows that it's actually effective for what most companies claim it to do. So that's all I have for this video. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thank you for watching.